dive past the jellies without touching them. Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a coffee cup? One cup. Great! Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a garbage can? 10 cups. Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a garbage can? So how much can we put in this garbage can? Can we put 10 gallons or can we put 10 cups here? 10 gallons is equal to 160 cups because each gallon is equal to 16 cups. So can we fill 160 cups into here or can we just fill 10 cups? Based on what we know about a garbage can, we know they're very large, so we can definitely fit 160 cups or 10 gallons. So the correct answer is A. Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a thermos? Four pints. Nice. Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a fish tank? gallons. Good job! Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a bucket? Three gallons. Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a cup? One cup. Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a swimming pool? Eight thousand gallons.
which is the better estimate for the capacity of a gallon of milk or quarts. Amazing! Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a vase? Four cups. Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a vase? We have four cups or four quarts. Remember, one quart is equal to four cups. So four quarts is equal to 16 cups. Now this vase looks actually a lot bigger than just a regular cup of water. So four cups even is a lot smaller than what can actually fit into the vase. So a better estimate would be B, four quarts or 16 cups. Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a water bottle? One pint. Monsterific! Which unit of weight is more appropriate for weighing a small cup? Grams. Super! Which is the better estimate for the weight of a bed? 27 grams. 27 kilograms. 27 kilograms. Way to go! Which unit of weight is more appropriate for weighing a watermelon? Kilograms. I like it! Which unit of weight is more appropriate for weighing a small bowl? Grams. Keep it up! Which unit of weight is more appropriate for weighing a bicycle? Kilograms. You're awesome. Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a fish bowl? Two gallons. Super duper. Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a large cup? One pint. Wonderful! Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a soda can? One cup. Correct.
which is the better estimate for the capacity of a large bowl. 2 pints Great! Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a small cup? 1 cup Nice! Which is the better estimate for the capacity of a small bowl? One pint. Good job! What is 39 plus 5? Well, we first want you to know that 39 has three tens because the three is in the tens place and nine ones because the one is in the ones place. We can also say the same about five because five is all by itself. We know that it has five ones because the five is in the ones place. Now, what would this look like if we drew a picture? Well, if we drew a picture, we could say that three tens would look like this, where we have 10 rows of three balls. This means that we have 30 balls right here, and this represents three tens. Now, what about nine ones? Well, nine ones would look like this, where each ball is kind of all by itself, and we have nine balls total. So this represents nine ones. Finally, what does five ones look like? Well, five ones might look like this, where each ball is kind of by itself, and we have five balls total. This represents five ones. Now, we want to know what 39 plus 5 equals. Well, we know that we have 30 balls here and 9 balls here, so all we have to do is continue counting past 39. So this would be ball number 40, this would be ball number 41, 42, 43, and 44. That means that 39 plus 5 equals 44. Now we can also see this if we do some vertical addition. So let's say we have 39 where 3 is in the tens place and 9 is in the ones place. And we want to add 5 to this. Because 5 is also in the ones place, we're going to put it right below the 9 because we want to make sure that our places are all lined up. So now we just need to add 39 plus 5. So we want to add 9 plus 5. Well, 9 plus 5 equals 14. But because the 9 and the 5 are in the 1's place, we can only put the 4 down because the 4 is in the 1's place of 14. Then we're going to carry the 1 over the 3. And remember, there's an invisible zero here. That means that all we have to do now is add one, three, and zero. When you add these three numbers together, you'll get four. And again, we can see that 39 plus five equals 44. Amazing!
Monsterific! What is 39 plus 3? Well, first of all, we want you to know that 39 has 3 in the tens place and 9 in the ones place. That means that we have 3 tens and 9 ones. We can do the same for 3 because 3 is in the ones place as well. And we know this because 3 is all by itself. And when a number is all by itself, it goes into the ones place. Now, what would this look like if we drew a picture? Well, it might look something like this, where here we have three tens, meaning we have ten columns of three balls, and that means that we have 30 balls total here. This is three tens, that means we have 30 balls total. And then here is what nine ones might look like. Here we have nine balls total. And then finally, right here, we have three ones or three balls total. Now I wanna know how many balls we have all together. Well, here we have 39 balls because 30 is here and nine is here, so that makes 39 balls. And we wanna add these three balls to that. All we have to do is continue counting past 39. So this would be 40, 41, and then 42. That makes 42 balls total. And we know that 39 plus 3 equals 42. We can also see this if we quickly do some vertical addition. So here's 39. And we want to add 3 to it. Because the 3 is in the 1's place, we're going to put it right below the 9, because the 9 is also in the 1's place. So now all we have to do is add the places. Well, what is 9 plus 3? 9 plus 3 equals 12. But we can only put the 2 down because the 2 is in the 1's place of 12. And then we have to put the 1 of 12 over 3 because it's in the 10's place and so is the 3. Now don't forget there's an invisible 0 here. That means that we want to add 1, 3, and 0. When you add 1, 3, and 0 together, you get 4. And we'll put the 4 right underneath 1, 3, and 0 because the 4 goes in the tens place. And again, we can see that 39 plus 3 equals 42. Super! Way to go! You made it past! Watch out for any more jellies! This level is part of Adapted Mind Super Skills. 